This exhibition for the first time, uh, of course for the first time in the form of exhibition, uh, uh, intertwines two uh, practices or uh, two uh, moduses of speech. Uh, one uh, is a lecture and another one is performance. So this is uh, the exhibition uh, which uh, tries to uh, analyze uh, the question can we uh, talk about uh, a specific form which can be named uh, a lecture performance. Uh, and uh, of course it tries to uh, look back into art history and to find some uh, examples which uh, today we can even see as a historical examples of uh, this uh, uh, radical practice of uh, uh, the so-called I speech or the speech in the first uh, person which is deeply embedded in the tradition of uh, uh, the so-called performance, uh, performance arts. It includes one of the very important names uh, in contemporary art and in, uh, and in uh, the art of the 60s, the 70s, 80s and the 90s uh, um, worldwide. Uh, for this uh, region and for this scene it is very important in the, in the terms that uh, the audience here, the audience here in Belgrade, uh, didn't have opportunity to see uh, the uh, the artworks of the of these artists uh, very often, whereas uh, somewhere else. Um, they can be or they are included uh, in the uh, permanent, permanent exhibitions uh, in some larger institutions. Uh, so uh, in that manner we are happy to, to be able to uh, exhibit uh, works uh, by for example uh, Martha Rosler or Andrea Fraser etc. Uh, or of some uh, younger contemporary artists such as for example Mark Lackey which has won the Turner Prize in 2008. We believe that this exhibition is uh, interesting because uh, it poses some fund fundamental questions related to uh, the um, uh, knowledge production uh, in art, to the notion of uh, knowledge uh, production in art. Uh, of course, it poses uh, the question, uh, what can we learn uh, from contemporary art and what specific uh, uh, knowledges art can produce and how can we use it uh, today in a, a broader uh, social and cultural uh, life. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, that uh, not only because some important uh, artists and uh, works are represented through this exhibition, but also uh, because the questions which are addressed, uh, such as um, uh, the question of uh, fashion and uh, identity, then the question of institutional critique, the question of artistic speech, uh, the questions uh, about, uh, which uh, explore the field of relation in between art and politics, then the question of genocide, then the question of a theoretical practice, then the question of a stereotypical representation, then uh, the question of, uh, of uh, uh, LGBT. Uh, the organization of the exhibition uh, was uh, very interesting because uh, we were uh, cooperating with uh, uh, two curators from Cologne, from Germany, uh, which, uh, who actually initiated this project together with with the Museum of Contemporary Art. So we were really working together on this research. Uh, the two exhibition that uh, the two exhibitions uh, that were the result of the research, one in Belgrade and one in, in Cologne, are not totally the same. They are uh, um, somewhat, somehow also different. Uh, so there were this, uh, let's say, curatorial freedom in choosing the artworks, but uh, the cooperation was very, very good.